Okay, this is a video for the low poly animal. So you go to file, new, and you're gonna wanna do web, and you're gonna do large. Create. All right, make sure that you change your workspace to essential classic and reset essential classic so that you have the proper layout you can do a google search and find a picture of an animal the headshot is the best way to go like a something with a head and then we're going to do the outline of the head so i'm going to use this lion uh, make sure you click on it and have it appear in this right side, then you could right click copy image and just paste it into your um, background. So this one's pretty, pretty big here. You could always resize it. Okay. I'm just gonna use this portion of it, so I'm okay with this. And then I'm going to go to Object, Lock, Selection. Now it's locked on here. All right, next step is we're going to start actually putting in the poly shapes. So we're going to use the uh, pen tool for this. And right, right off the bat, we're going to use... We're going to do the nose and the eyes. Okay. So we're going to just trace around the eye and we're going to get it, get those areas. Worked out and the nose. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, now we could go over here and select off of that and let's go ahead and do a different color for our next shapes. All right, this portion we're gonna go ahead and just start making like a, Kind of like triangles and stuff like that. If we get a, if you have that little hanger on, you could hit escape. Escape. Okay, so we're basically drawing in a bunch of shapes here. All right, another key component to this is getting your selection tool and you're gonna create gradients. Well, actually, before we do that, we're gonna create um, a different color within these shapes. So we're gonna do the pen again and we're gonna turn off this magnet tool up here. And we're gonna make sure you select off Get yourself a new color and then we could start putting in inside the shape you're going to put another shape like this okay all right then what you're going to do is on these individual shapes you're going to go to the tool called gradient and you're going to put in a gradient here. And you're going to kind of give it a little bit of a different look. OK, 
Okay. So you could click those colors in like that. All right. Now it's starting to take some, it's starting to take form, but it needs a lot more work. After you get your um, different colors put in, you're probably going to want to change this to a darker color. The eyes. All right. So the, the next step to creating this project is to actually get the, uh, the shapes transferred over to the other side exactly the same. So what you do to do that is you actually, first thing you have to do is click on the shapes. You're going to want to highlight them. And then what you're going to do is group them. All right, and then you right click on them again and you transform them and you're going to reflect and you're going to go ahead and copy that. So now you get an exact duplicate of what you had on this side and you put it on this side. All right. Let me go ahead and copy all this. All right, so I just put it on layer two. It's a good idea to keep these on layers so that you could only show one layer. So it's starting to take look like it's a an animal. You need to fill in more of the details and the more details you put in, the better it looks. All right, that is the gist of it. That's basically what we're doing here. Um, you could save this as low poly animal, save it to your, um, save this to the cloud. All right, that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoy it.